Welcome to the BewareCast, where I teach you about the things that you need to be aware of. Today we're diving into a unique and fascinating kind of speculative creature, not from deep space or ancient myth, but from a post-apocalyptic Earth reimagined in the world of Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. The machines that roam this world aren't just enemies or mounts, they're technological lifeforms designed with purpose, function, and eerie ecological roles. But how could they actually exist? Let's explore their origins, biology, intelligence, and the strange harmony between synthetic and organic life. The machines weren't always a part of Earth's natural order. They were created by Gaia, a super-intelligent, terraforming AI, developed by the old world's scientists to restore the planets after a robotic apocalypse. Gaia created subordinate functions, essentially AIs with specific roles, to repopulate the world with flora, fauna, and atmospheric balance. The machines were developed to serve specific ecological purposes, mimicking animals, not out of vanity, but to ensure they would fit seamlessly into a newly restored biosphere. Over centuries, their numbers grew, and some functions, like Hephaestus, became independent, evolving their designs and behaviours without human oversight. Though artificial, the machines are built with a remarkable blend of engineering and biomimicry. Their bodies are made of ceramental plating, hydraulic musculature, energy cores, and sensory modules. Many of them resemble real-world creatures, horses, birds, dinosaurs, even crocodiles, not as replicas, but as efficient designs honed by evolution. Each machine has a weak point system, often associated with fuel tanks, control cores, or sensory arrays. Internally, they use blue glimmer, a form of bioelectric power derived from blaze, chill water, or other in-universe elements that mimic water, fire, and frost energy. Unlike most modern robotics, these machines show dynamic adaptability, with real-time pathfinding, targeting systems, camouflage, and even coordinated pack behaviour. The machines are divided into distinct ecological niches, the first is grazer-type machines, like grazers, chargers, and plowhorns, that serve a photosynthetic or soil processing function, acting like cattle or elk. They help terraform by spreading seeds, processing soil, or storing nutrients. The predatory machines, like sawtooths, ravagers, and claw striders, are more aggressive, likely intended to regulate machine populations or serve security functions. They show stalking behaviour and complex combat routines. Avian machines like glint hawks and stormbirds manage aerial surveys, scavenge dead machines, and might help regulate atmospheric conditions. Apex machines, such as Thunder Jaws, Tremor Tusks, and Slaughter Spines, appear to be militarised evolutions, products of Hephaestus's self-directed manufacturing. These function like apex predators, enforcing dominance and defending high-value territory. Each machine contributes to a synthetic ecosystem, one that mimics biological complexity while remaining utterly alien in origin. While not truly sentient, most machines demonstrate emergent intelligence, pattern recognition, learning behaviour, coordinated attacks, and even rudimentary communication. Some machines operate solo, while others act in groups, like packs of claw striders or flocks of glint hawks. Larger machines may command smaller ones, especially in Forbidden West, where override corruption, or apex behaviour, creates clear hierarchy. These patterns resemble hive mind or animalistic instincts, blending AI with natural behaviours. And with some overridden or corrupted by external forces like Hades or Nemesis, they also reflect what happens when synthetic life spirals out of control. 
Could such machines exist in reality? Possibly, in a distant future where autonomous design, renewable energy and self-replication converge. Machines built to repair ecosystems already exist in theory. Robot bees, drones to plant trees, etc. But what makes Horizon's machines compelling is their ecological integration. For them to exist, we'd need 1. A master AI like Gaia to oversee planetary recovery. 2. Material science capable of creating self-healing and adaptive bodies. 3. Power sources like Blaze, representing advanced biofuels or ambient energy collection. And finally, four, sophisticated behavioural programming or learning algorithms based on animal cognition. In essence, they would be biomechanical organisms, robotic on the outside, ecological in function. Each machine has its weaknesses, either elemental, structural or systemic. Some are vulnerable to shock, others to fire or ice. Their components, like radar, data cores or blaze canisters, can be exploited. Their greatest weaknesses, however, are override technology, allowing humans to tame or control them, disruption of AI protocols, as seen with Gaia's fragmentation, and EMP-style attacks that disable or short-circuit their systems. In real life, such machines might be vulnerable to signal jamming, power deprivation or viral sabotage, a frightening reminder that autonomy always comes with a cost. The machines of Horizon offer a brilliant glimpse into the potential of future technology and the dangers of letting it evolve beyond our control. They blur the line between nature and machine, biology and code, animal and tool. Thanks for watching.